Good morning, this is Robin with Art and Gifts, and we're coming today with part two of the uh, Under the Sea bottle. So this is all dry now. We've got the paper towels and the fruit netting bag glued to it, or modge podged. So here's the bottle. It's got paper towels, and this is the netting from a lime bag. And then today we're going to add some texture to it. So I have some uh, modeling paste. And I also thought I could try to make some of my own. And um, the video said to use cornstarch and glue. And I'm going to add, for the bottom part, I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, this is called desert sand paint. And then I have some sand in this little container. I also brought today some uh, shells I found on the beach. And then I got these from the Dollar Tree. And it's just little jars of small shells. And I have a palette knife. So I have an old can here. That's what I'm going to mix this. I've never done this before. So this is cornstarch. And I have some uh, Elmer's glue or any kind of, you know, white. I think it's called PVA glue. And I didn't get measurements. So we're just going to dump some in here. It's only a quarter of a bag. Maybe it, it wasn't a full container. I think I have another box. If I can get this whole thing off, it'd be a lot quicker. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's start with that. That was a big blob of it. Sometimes these craft paints, if they've been sitting, you got to give them a little shake. Huh. As a kid, we used to make our own Play-Doh. This kind of reminds me of it. Thank you. 
this is very thick. I think I need just a little bit more glue. I'm going to take a look for a walk. Okay, sweetie. into it and then I'll maybe sprinkle some on top and this will be for our bottom part it's not very sticky I think it needs more glue it'll never stick to the surface there we want it to stick to the bottle and also we want stuff to stick to it like the shells. Oh no, I think I put too much. I think in hindsight I should have put this in a like a Tupperware container, like an airtight container, plastic container, so that I could cover it. Maybe I'd go get some plastic wrap. So we want it thick but we don't really want it drippy. So I'm going to start putting this on the bottom of the bottle. And this is going to give us some lovely texture. Give us that under the sea look. And if you don't have a palette knife, I think a popsicle stick would work. Applying that to the bottom of the bottle. It kind of looks like thick got pancake batter. You know, like once you've done a few pancakes and it's gotten really thick, you have to add a little more milk or water. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Now I'm going to stick some of these shells into it and add a little more sand. You can see the sand. little shells in here, just here and there. I might get some wax paper to put underneath it, <laughs> parchment paper or something. shells too.
also sprinkle some glitter in there too. Okay. So now I'm going to put some more up, up towards the top. I'm going to paint all this. It doesn't matter that it's got sand color in it. let this dry because it's really sticking to the table here. I think I'm going to try to find something that's smaller than the base stuff that will be stable enough to hold it. I did this again, I'd get a silicone mat for this to sit on and also uh, get a, like a turntable thing underneath of it. I can turn it. Hindsight. Huh? So this top part we're going to do various blues and some metallic blues and all sorts of fun things. few more shells up here. If you had shark's teeth, that would be really cool too. Sand dollars or a starfish. All that stuff would be really neat. Okay, we can just let that dry. 
So tomorrow we will paint it. Maybe we'll add something here, like a, a mermaid or something. I'm gonna look through royalty-free images or things that I've painted. Or I have, um, I have a stencil here. Maybe I could stencil something on there, some fish or something. And I'm gonna try to cover this stuff with uh, tin foil or plastic wrap or something. So if I need to do some touch-ups, do that. And then make sure you uh, wipe off your palette knife so that stuff doesn't stay. Okay, well thank you for coming by and like and subscribe, share with your friends, and tomorrow will be part three. Alrighty, bye!